welcome to the B Team Podcast. I am your host, Josh Saffron, with my co-host, Matt Mars, and our permanent guest, Rob Nelson. And we're here every week to talk to you about all things Bentonville, bourbon, and business. The B Team Podcast. Be here. Welcome to the B Team Podcast. We're here with Matt Mars, Rob Nelson, and myself, focused on Bentonville, bourbon, and business. And this is one of our coolest segments where we're going to talk about some bourbon. Yeah. We have Russ Kempton here from Speaking of Grapes and Grains. The man, the myth, and the legend in the alcohol and bourbon world. What are we drinking today? So thanks for having me again, Josh and Matt and Rob. Good to see you guys again. Yeah. Thanks Glad to be coming. here. And, you know, this is one of my favorite whiskeys, and it has been forever since uh, I was in the business in the, in the 80s uh, and 90s until I started my company 10 years ago. I've always been very bullish on on Maker's Market, what they do. You know, and it's, I think it's very important to revisit legacy because this is a legacy brand that was developed in the 1950s by the Samuels family. And, you know, because what's going on today with the bourbon boom is a lot of people are just being attracted to the new guy or the new lady on the block. And that's fine. There's nothing mm-hmm. wrong with that. But I would say revisit legacy to see where we started because it wasn't for the brands like Makers, Mark, Jack Daniels, Jim Beam, Wild Turkey. We can name 100 brands. Well, people Wait, don't talk about Makers because no, no, they're all worried, no. worried about what the Sazerac latest release that they can't 100%. find. 100 percent. And... And one thing about and so this is what they did right before, right at kind of right at the advent of um, the pandemic four years ago. They go, you know what? Well, we can be who we want to be, and we're going to continue to grow and expand our brands. And so they came out with Maker's Mark 101, you know, four years ago, and to say, hey, you know, there's Wild Turkey 101 mm-hmm. out there. There's a lot of great 101s out there, but hey, <clears> what <throat> if we do this to show we're just not Maker's Mark 90 proof, 94 proof? We can do what everybody else does. And one thing about Maker's Mark is what they have a lot of great legacy of what they do, but they're still the only major distillery in Kentucky that continues to rotate their barrels. So what does that mean? The distilleries like Jack, Bean, Jack Daniels in Kentucky, you know, uh, Sazerac, Buffalo Trace, 1492, 1792, you uh, name the distillery. When that barrel, Clem- goes, in, Clem- when that barrel goes into the warehouse, it sits there. Right. With Maker's Mark, they rotate their barrels every two years. If it starts off on the two on the top floor for two years, then they rotate it down to the, the bottom floor. It starts off in the middle. So they get their six years in the in the high, the middle, and the lower part of the warehouses. And they feel it gives them better flow of, of on when they blend and it's laborious, so it's a more expensive to process this, but it to me it shows who they are and what they're all about. They want six summers in oak. So even though there's no age statement on here, no with confidence, every time you try Maker's Mark, there's at least six years of summers in oak. I never knew that. I thought, I always thought you had to look for like the bottled in bonds because you knew that it had, what is it, four or five That's years? That's four years for bottled yeah. bond, yeah. Minimum of four years, but these guys are already starting. Is it, and this is, this is Maker's Mark. You know, 101, Kentucky Straight Bourbon and Whiskey, which we know is mm-hmm. a minimum of two years in Oak. If it's less than four years, you have to declare an age statement. And is there a typo on Maker's Mark Whiskey? There's no E there on Whiskey, is there? No. Have you guys ever noticed that on Maker's mm-hmm. Mark Whiskey? There's no E there. They pay homage to their Scottish roots by not putting an E on their whiskey. Another. Uh, it's not required by the American government for the distillers to put an E on their whiskey. It's recommended, not required. So Old Forester, no E. <laughs> George Dickel, no E. They pay homage to their Scottish troops, just like the Samuels family does. So what we have here is 101, Maker's Mark. And what I want you to get, do is just like we always do, an inch from your nose, open your mouth. Let these great vapors just come in on your palate. Kind of get a lot of caramelization. You know, I get a lot of brown sugar here, just on the nose. And just go ahead and Rock my just lost. put a little bit. On your palate, you can do the Kentucky chew, which you chew your whiskey back and forth on your palate. You know, back and forth, chew it. It's called the Kentucky chew. I learned this at Jim Beam years ago. Again, sister brand and maker's mark. So what do you think of this? I like it. It's really good. It's It's soft. It's floral. And this is a weeded bourbon. So they don't really designate and market themselves as a weeded bourbon. There's no rye here. So this is just like a Weller. You know, Mm -hmm. the original original weeded bourbon was Mm -hmm. Weller. Pappy Ben Winkle, some Willis, some other brands out there, but you know, Maker's Mark does as, as good a job as anybody as far as their their weeded bourbon. So now what we come back like we always do, so, add a couple drops of water. Yes, Rob. So when I first got into bourbon, 
I had the pleasure of going out there to look, <clears throat> and then I visited Makers, and I I was blown away by the overall experience. So I've always been a Makers fan. Yeah, really, really true. And n- know what I love about it? Is dip, dip in the bottle in the wax. I have a bottle on my personal bar, and they say like if you can find a true double dip bottle, it's it's a good collector's piece. It is. In fact, sometimes one. One out of every bottle and every pallet. So a pallet generally has 55 mm-hmm. cases on it. Okay. So 55 times 12. So over you know, about 700 on. bottles. 700 mm-hmm. bottles on a pallet yep. of 55 cases. One bottle will be double dunked. Yep. So you'll, I mean, you can get it. You can go to your favorite packer store one day. Maybe the owners and the managers it's take so that home. It's I've, so rare. So rare. Back. So when I was there, they allowed us to like little gift bottles. Yeah. Little small. I don't know what you call them. Yeah, half bottles, three seven five. Yeah, three seven fives. And I asked them because we all got to dip. I was like, "Can I do a double dip?" And they let me do it. And it's sitting on your bar. I've seen it. It's sitting on my bar. Wax is dripping. So I, another question I have is, Josh, you had a buddy or something that sold me. I got. I have two makers, Mark. One from like the late eighties, and one from like the early nineties. And it's and it's they have gold. When did they change this to red? All right, so the gold that you have was was I have have it too where you could one of them has a horse on it. The stuff. horse, but also on those they were uh, more limited release, meaning you could put your name on there and write it on there. They were they were de- designated by liquor stores and package stores where you could then put your you know Matt Mars on there on the gold oh, label, okay. and that's why they had the gold. You know, that was kind of just uh, an okay. 18 month to two year project for them, not a lot of uh, states. You, so I mean, you, you, you have one. Uh, I gave for one of my wedding presents, I gave all my Grisman a bottle of Maker's Mark with their with their name on it when I was in that side of the business back in the day. So that was something different. But now you notice on Maker's Mark too, look, look at the, the, the trails here of the wax. You know, every bottle is still hand dipped. Yep. I want to go back bottle. to that. that that Matt special bottle. Have you been offered a taste out of that? No, I don't think so. I have no well, idea. I hadn't opened it. I thought that since it was gold, it might be worth a lot. <laughs> no, but now I just found out it, I could have wrote my name on the front of it. <laughs> yeah, you can. So now we need. We may have to open it up. Yeah, we could. There are there were labels that that were released that, that you just a square label. You could just you know write. I've it. seen that where you can they'll etch your, your name in. Etch your name in. Yes, that was from that same era. Okay, you know. And so Maker's Mark, what do you think of this one with the water and without? It. It's good. I like more, makers more in my old fashions. This is not a normal drinker for me. It's, it's good, but I, I like it more than old fashions. Very tasty. I like but it for everyday consistent. You just cannot go wrong. Yeah. You know, and so it's old. It's strong. yeah. It's bold, kind of, it's just like you. Kind of like me. me. Bold, strong, yeah, you know, Brazilian, and, right? And got it going on. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, it's every stripping. bottle is still every bottle is still hand dipped, right? So. Yeah. You know the the dryer stays right behind you guys, and I'm, and I'm, I'm one of the dippers on the line, and I'm putting here and it's going down about 30, 40 feet to the dryer. Well, guess what? Gra- we all know about gravity, right? Mm-hmm. Gravity's taking hold. Well, so sometimes you'll get like that double dip yep. where you'll see maybe when you guys go to dinner tonight, you see a bottle of Maker's Mark and the trail on these are coming down here towards towards the label, which means they were higher up on the line and it took a minute for them to get to the dryer, so gravity's taking hold. So Every bottle is unique. Every bottle is uh, hand dipped still today. And where did they get their name? Maker's Mark. So how that word, that's an odd name, isn't it? So back in the 1950s when the Samuels were putting the brand together, Mrs. Samuels was a pewter collector. And so what do the pewters do? The pewter craftsmen, he or she, what they, they do, they put their mark on every pewter that they produce. It's called the Maker's Mark. Interesting. That's where huh. the name comes from. I feel like at some point somebody needs to fact check Russ, and they'd be wrong every time. Like yeah. Russ is always going to be right on this stuff. Uh, yeah, I love it. But it'd be cool. Like, no, that's not true. They'd be like, sure enough. I, I would, not, yeah, I would. He makes it seem so yeah. believable it's that a, I wouldn't even believe you if you said it was correct. Yeah. He's so good. Well, man, a great one. Yeah, thank you. you like thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm very bullish on Maker's Mark, and it's good to see you guys. Uh, I'll you back out that whole play. play. Yeah, I'm. I'm a fan. All right, cheers, guys. Thank cheers. Good seeing you guys again. Glad to be here. Yeah. Welcome to the B-Team Podcast. I am your host, Josh Safran. We are here to talk about Bentonville. Bourbon. And business. And my and I'm co-host. I'm Matt Mars, and this is Rob Nelson. Rob Nelson. 
And today we're here to talk about the queen of Bentonville in my eyes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The hottest thing in the Bentonville. The hottest thing in Bentonville. <laughs> yes. So you fit right in because it's about Perfect. Bentonville and business. And so, yeah. Jenny Mars, welcome. Thank you for coming Thank in. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yes. This is very exciting. And we have the this B team. super cool book here. Yes. Yeah. Now, I was told by these guys mm -hmm. I could not get a free copy. I had to order it. So we oh, ordered. Oh, good. Thank spent you. Spent money. So Thank you. Yep. Yep. Got an Amazon <laughs> review. Yep. Good, perfect. You can thank Angie for that. Thank you, amazing. Dude, and she was like, nah, because I'm ordering one. <laughs> hey, oh, I real quick, give though. One, oh, cheers. We have to yeah. cheers. 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 Yeah, Josh is so excited. I was yeah, I think I'm a little starstruck. Oh, yeah. 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 You make me starstruck. <laughs> I know I do. You're a permanent guest. <laughs> yes. I mean, today's a little and special. Then, These two over oh here, God. they're a mess. <laughs> Do you guys want a hug? I mean, like we go. we've had them. They use the dropper to feed each other water. It's a whole thing. Is that what there. this is? Water? Water? Yeah. Wait, not not what? in yours. Oh, what is it? Yours is just pure vodka. Everybody else is water. Oh, why do you have water in a dropper? Is it really vodka? No. No. What do you do with this? You put it in the oil, in the bourbon and helps. Oh. It waters it down a little bit. Yeah. Does it have to be in a dropper? Sorry, I'm. Yeah. No, well, well it, it's a whole it thing. Be it's, one drop or two drops. Depending on how I'm going to show you. Like so, uh, like, actually, I'll take it. There you go. Oh. So, so, <laughs> so, so, normal, <laughs> so normal people just put a cube of ice in there. That's what I thought. That's but what I'm confused. We're not when, you're, when you're high flutin'. Yeah, you guys this, are so fancy. <laughs> it's almost like you should be the yeah. A team. You're so I mean, fancy. No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Well, I do love the A team. Yeah. Great TV show. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. But when okay. you look around at the town, the room where the, no, we're I know. Team, you Claire, understand. B, you yeah, understand. B squad. Yeah, no. Slightly better than the C team. Yeah, exactly. And that's all slightly. It has to be. Yeah, always just slightly better than the worst. Yeah, it's good. Slightly better than the worst. <laughs> so we've so got cool. it. We got to get back okay. to the book here. Like, how, okay. did, how did this okay. come about? Like, tell us how we got to to, the, to this to the book. Um, so I started. I've always wanted to write. I always have loved writing and. I started this book, I mean, it's been in process for like five years, I would say, but I've had lots of ideas on my little notes on my phone of book ideas, and then actually started, did the proposal and all that. Jenny in, didn't bring one of them, so. I didn't bring, I don't care. I don't carry my book with me. I mean, Jenny, I would carry three or four just in case. Oh, you want to buy one? Oh, yeah. I actually have Here's my Venmo. You want to sign one? Matt, it's Jenny Mars' book. She doesn't have to do that. It's no, not Matt Mars' book. And if it was Matt Mars' book, you would call yeah. him. I know, like a little truck. card that I push around. Yeah. You got a backpack with 19 books in it. Hold on, you want one? I'll give you a special price. I do have them in the car. I didn't, I didn't want to assume. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Um, anyways, I did the proposal a couple years ago. It took about two years to write. And I let Dave have special appearances, as you can see. It really it that. really gave him gave him a moment. Mm -hmm. But Dave's mm -hmm. right, Dave's parts, he has let me see if I can find one of his parts in here. His, he just and this is like he just would he would record a note on his phone. Mm-hmm. And then I would just transcribe it and then edit it for him. So that he was, so you, you would, do it in like 15 minutes. And you're like, well, <sighs> I did my writing for today. And I'm like, okay, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like, Josh, if, if we ever need anything written, we have Emily do it. Right. Like yeah. We, yeah. we aren't allowed yeah. to write anything. Know your role, know your value. Right. Exactly. We post something on Facebook and these guys are like, none of us is literate enough to write something good. So they go, yeah. Emily, you write it and we'll share it. It feels like the yeah. same thing. Exactly, exactly. So yes. that's what she did with Dave. Yeah. Dave, he just, just didn't just, want to. He doesn't it. like to write. He's like, I yeah. don't want to write. I'll talk. I'm like, okay, fine. Yeah. No. So anyway, and then um, launched this November. So it's basically... Um, I'm sure you've read it front to back. We but, did. Yeah, yeah, have you? Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So each chapter is about a space in your home, <clears> and <throat> I tell a story from our family. So it's kind of a memoir style. Um, so a story about each of those spaces to kind of kick off the chapter. And I chose a story about each space that sometimes it's like, like I talk about Christmas morning for the living room, right? So it's not necessarily, it's not at all about the design of the space. It's just memories in those spaces. And part of the, reason I did that too is so that I have, I mean, like the kids have something, you know, like I have all my, I have tons and tons of journals, but I mean, someday when I'm gone, they'll probably read those, but it's nice to have <laughs> like a, a, you know, a book about your family. So, yeah. yeah. So I want to ask you a question about yes. the acknowledgements page. Oh, we, yes. Because there's a text thread between the three of us. Oh, yes. 
that you're and, not in it? Are you? Well, I wasn't well, expecting you myself okay, to be good, okay. for fun, please. Okay. But I mean, it says to my sisters and brother-in-law, Bridget, Matt, and Carrie, and Katie. And like Matt was like, I I probably deserved a little bit more space. No, than Matt that. wasn't here. People with with full None paragraphs. Oh, yeah. No, there was a, there was a little section that I found. He, that was there was in, another in section. My... You're in here twice. Yes. You're in there multiple here, times. Here, Matt and Rob, and Matt is first, and Rob is second. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Thank well, you for joining me on this journey. I know the timelines are That's absurd, good. and I often make your lives miserable with my requests and changes. But you are all talented and gracious, and do <laughs> couldn't do this without you. We couldn't do this without you. So there you go. That's so a, Matt that's made me call that out, so yeah. you read it for every, yeah. everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Did everyone hear again? that? Did you guys right. hear that? Yes. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> I couldn't well, do this I, without you. I think you. there was more in there that I saw. Yeah. No, that was it. Actually. That's it. That's it. Huh. That's your. Oh, that's we're gonna read our favorite passages yeah. too. Oh, passages. Yeah. If you're it's okay, wow. can I read oh, my yeah. favorite passage? Okay. And then Matt's gonna read one of his favorite passages. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I love it. So I like okay. stuff at the up front, like the the uh, the entrance to the book, so okay. to speak. Mm-hmm. To me, home should feel like a warm blanket wrapped around you in the night. Clearly, Dave did not write that you wrote. That. <laughs> yeah. The place where you can feel safe and hold and loved and hold and held. Sorry, I can't see. And loved regardless of how the dark world outside the window. Home is the place you are always excited to return to, even after an amazing adventure someplace new. Home beckons the sand. Like it's it's like well written. It was like Thank oh you. it's like it sets the book up so nicely yeah. from my point of view. Thank you. Thank you. I love that. That's yeah, one of my favorites. Okay, let me now, read mine. So we, Well so wait this, a second. Well, this is the family edition of the book. Yeah, you so said you Jenny, have a special copy. Jenny gave us this copy. So mm-hmm. I mean I just so this was my favorite. Jenny said, "I just wanted to give special thanks to my brother-in-law Matt Mars. He has helped me on my journey mm-hmm. <laughs> so much, and he's more of the he's the reason why That's I've decided to season. write a book and design houses." Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jenny, no, just one of a kind. It, d- <laughs> Jenny, just go ahead and knock him in the head. Actually, I'm working on a second book right now that's more of a memoir, and I am telling the story with Matt Mars. When Matt and Carrie, when we first, Dave and I moved here, you remember this? Oh, yeah, I remember well, there's very a couple. well. Bailey? Wait, is it the Bailey one? Wait, I'm not telling that story, but okay. I will tell you that he almost murdered my dog. Not him, but the horse across the street. It was a whole thing. Um, so I was mad at him, but they made up for it because when we moved here, we literally went to Nashville. We were in Florida for Christmas, visiting my family. Dave came with me to my Nashville apartment. We loaded up a U-Haul and drove here. And we pulled in. We called mm-hmm. them on the way. We're like, yeah. hey, guys, we're on our way to town. Can we stay with you? <laughs> and they're, like, they're like, yep. Okay. <laughs> so we, we pulled up in our U-Haul and we stayed. And we literally were there, I think, for a week mm-hmm. until we found yep. a rental house and we moved. But yeah, so they were our first home. The it ba- beckoned our ba- soul. Ba- Bailey was... My she dog. did not like it up by the horse. She got in with the horse. He. And the horse, or he. Yeah. The horse tried to stop him. And my dog. Oh. Was my dog. Bad. Remember Bailey? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was my baby. I, and then there was another time that oh, maybe yeah. during Fourth of July, the dogs got lost. We were at your house in Florida. <laughs> right. We oh, were, I remember. We that. were visiting you, and Matt <laughs> yeah. and Carrie were pet sitting, and they lost my dog. When you say lost. Like lost. lost. Like she, he was gone for like a week, yeah. and two weeks. <laughs> Like yeah. the fireworks started going off, and he like tunneled out of the yard and was gone. I see why you have such a small part in the acknowledgement of yes, the book. Well, yeah. After lo- almost <laughs> to be losing fair, the dog. he knew that the dog was afraid of fireworks, and he <laughs> left him outside in the yard. So I don't know. I, like, I le- left a little thing of food out there. I was <laughs> With like, the gate oh, open, he'll, he'll be fine. Yeah, free. <laughs> he'll be fine out there. <laughs> and then Carrie called me at your house, yeah, and oh, I was I hysterical. I was freaking out. I was like, "We have to go home, Dave. Well, like, we're not going home." <laughs> and yeah, it's a twenty-two yeah. hour drive. Carrie, yeah. and Carrie's like, "Matt, we've got to call her." I was like, "Do not call her." <laughs> it was a bad and then, like three minutes later, Carrie's like, "I called her," and I was like, "Carrie." <laughs> In retrospect, you were right. You shouldn't have called. Yeah. But that was before the internet, so we had yeah. no way of like, yeah. you know, putting it, it was, on Facebook, or it was just, yeah, we had to put signs up. And is there eventually. a happy ending to the story? Yeah, we found well, him. He got yeah, the him. happy ending is they don't ask me to watch their dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they haven't even thought about asking me to watch the kids. They're no. like, Matt has no responsibilities for no. Uh, any of but our. But I stuff. love that in the house. If you do, if you're asked <laughs> yeah. to do a task. Yeah, As a husband, and you do it badly, you never yeah. get asked again. Yeah. That's right. That's great. Yeah, this it's is like great. when you help someone move. If you break something, they'll, they're yeah. never going to ask Sorry. you again. Yeah. Yeah. You this, want to help me with yeah. that? No. Good advice. <laughs> There's a whole chapter about that in the book. 
<laughs> so so you're you have a second book on, on I'm the way writing there. it now. Yes. So it'll be nice. out next fall is the plan if I can finish it. <laughs> it's hard. Time? Yeah. Do I do don't. Do it's very stressful. I need time because when I write I need to actually think and have time to process and um there's really not much of that. So Quite just not. yeah. So oh, uh weekends I try to like in the mornings I try to hole away in my Wake room up really early yeah and yeah. just squirrel away and then if dave and the kids know i'm writing they know to just leave me alone but the kids find you though they, they, they yeah but they know you, i they? know but they're pretty good like with this book they knew they were like and they're the same Mom's like right. if i'm writing they know give me some time yeah. yeah they really do so and even with this one we did photos for each chapter um and they actually participated, which they don't normally participate in photos, but they were good. It was like, it's for my book. I'm like, okay, okay, mom. <laughs> so they, they were on board. The first time you walk into a bookstore, I know you posted some of the stuff on yeah. Instagram. When you walk in and you see your yeah. book, like, what's the feeling like to see, uh, this is all my hard work yes. on the shelf? It was surreal. It's surreal for sure, because I worked on it so long and I've seen it, you know, back and forth with the cover design. And so actually seeing it in the store, it was amazing, but it was also very overwhelming because it was at a Barnes and Noble. I walked in in New York, and there's so many books. Like that's the thing is, I was like, oh man, this was this is a lot of books. Like nobody's ever gonna find this. So it kind of was like one of those where it's very exciting, but then also felt really small. I mean, in the sea of all the books, all the options, you know. So um, for the viewers, yes, if they want to get a book, yes, what's the best way? Whether they're local um, or any, yeah, you can get it at our Mercantile. Okay, yes, Mars Mercantile. We sell signed books. So I usually, I go in, depends on inventory. I usually go about once a week and sign books. Um, so anybody who orders a book, even online from the mercantile, they're signed. Um, should have done that. Yeah. Should've done, Mine from order. Amazon came. No. Merc Merc mercantile. Come on. I, uh, so. It's okay. I'll sign it for you before you leave. Um, right. But four, yeah, anywhere books right. are sold for the most part. <laughs> and if yeah. they're not here at in Northwest Arkansas. Yeah. You can go at any, yeah, anywhere, Amazon, Walmart, Target. Barnes and Noble, um, local bookstores, and actually, it's interesting. I didn't know this about publishing until afterward, but you get more credit if you if it's purchased at a local bookstore, like for the for the New York Times bestseller list, which I did not make. I'm returning it. It's okay. It's it's okay. Yeah, but you're, this is this is just your first book. Yeah, it's fine. That's just I mean, a and, and it's funny you say that because Kennedy in Oxford has a she's a big book person. Yeah. Our daughter and yeah. she. She always wants to go to the bookstore. Yes. I and they bookstores. they have this bookstore that like half the books in there are signed. Yes. And Aww. and it's like they it's almost like those smaller stores, like that's what they've gotten to to get right. them one up on the big box. The big, places, exactly. Which and is I love supporting small bookstores. Yeah. yeah. Small bookstores are awesome so. businesses. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's cool that they I mean to go to Oxford. Did yeah, you, 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 you too? well, it would be neat if you did. Yeah. Did you do any book signings? I did. I didn't that? have a lot because we were still filming, so it was really busy. But we did – where were we? We went to New York. Um, we've done one in L.A. Where else did we go? I don't even know. Arizona? Well, no, I didn't do signing there. I'm trying to think. We just a most, bunch, though. Yeah, and we did yeah. some here. We did mostly at the Mercantile. We did, we've done some there. I'll, I'll probably do one in this like the next couple weeks at the Mercantile again. And then we did one at Two Friends Books in Bentonville. Um, Shout out to two friends book. Two yeah, friends. they're great. Yeah. So, so yeah. obviously, Matt and I know what's a oh, lot, Kansas City. A lot. Oh, can, oh, okay. Kansas, Kansas City. City. Yeah. A lot's coming for you and Dave, right? But the viewers, right? Yes. They want to know what can you mm -hmm. share? Oh. Ooh. I don't know. I'm writing another book. That's, okay. that's top secret. <laughs> yeah. um, Not I mean, anymore. That's, that's Not anymore. Is it, so. Well, the new is the new book. Can you say anything like what's what it's going to be, be about? It's going to be very style? different. It's just more memoir style. So I'm just going to tell more stories of our life, and it's more about our faith, our adoption, our just our journey in the past, mm -hmm. probably like 20 years of our life. Nice. Yeah. So. I feel like the B team podcast will get its own <clears throat> chapter. Yes, for like, sure. Yeah. Obviously, I mean, this yes. is huge. Yeah. This is big. It's yeah. like any big moment. So obviously, this I mean, is one of them. It's really yeah. nice that we got her in when we did. Right. I mean, she's going to be not done yet. You're right. Yeah. There's like five <laughs> chapters left to write. So <laughs> I still <laughs> can't believe she said she would come. <laughs> I was well, like, I was like, Do you want I, Dave? She, she said yes, and I was like. Jenny, she doesn't know what she's Jenny, into. Are you sorry? And Rob told me, you are you wine, sure? So like, sure? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, um, we'll bring some good wine. How's no. the wine, but it's good. It's good. It good? Mm -hmm. okay. 
He French? Rob found the finest screw top that he, he could did. get. He did. Good job. Yeah, and yeah. I was running late, so I was like, Angie, go get a model of mine. <laughs> she was like, I think we had one another night when they were here. Oh, perfect. <laughs> He's like, so it's stay, old, so I got stay out of the. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, yeah. it wasn't open. Yeah. It wasn't open. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, right. stay out of the stay out of the good stuff. Yeah. Uh, you yeah, know, don't go something. crazy. Don't go crazy. <laughs> um, but no, we have Italy's. The Mr. <clears throat> Fabulous Italiano is Ooh, airing okay. right now when this airs. Um, well, it's six episodes. We filmed it over the course of a year. Matt Mars himself was right. there yeah. for it's, the first demo And trip. it snowed. It snowed, it snowed while we were in Tuscany. Yes. It was nuts. It was so crazy. And then it was so busy. Filming over there was I, I awful. I that. mean, it was so busy. And it's also awful because you're in Italy and you're like, Well, I'm you're in on Italy. a tight timeline. It was like a tight, like every day was so long. And you're just like, I want to enjoy being in Italy and I can't. But well, we got, tried. We did. So we would do a 12-hour day, and mm-hmm. then we'd be like, I can stay up another six hours. Yeah, so we did. So that and, was the problem. And after seven or ten days, oh it's gosh. hard to, to function. Yeah, <laughs> and then we escaped. You guys went to Pisa. Yeah. You and Kim. I got a few tickets that Davey had to pay for. Yes, because it was his, our his rental license. car in Dave's name. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sounds like a bad <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So it was good. Yeah, we were like, huh, that's interesting on the way to Pisa. <laughs> Matt Mars was driving. I, I was on the interstate, and everyone's slowing down, and I was like, I wonder why they're all slowing down. <laughs> and Dave's like, you know when they were all slowing down? That's when you got the ticket. That me. And I was like, well, I didn't get a ticket. You did. <laughs> exactly. And you expressed it back to the show. Well, I don't know how no, that all Dave, shifted out. I, I think just, I owe him. Yeah. Yeah, Dave yeah. might not be able to get a rental car next time. He gets I know. I'm car. actually nervous about that. Yeah. Well yes, done. Yes. Yes. But I don't like the whole, the logistics to that. I don't know how you guys. That was crazy. It, it was happen. nuts. We went back and forth six times over a year. Oh, wow. Um, and we revealed the house at the end of January, this past January. So it was crazy. And then we're in pre production now. I don't know when this show, wait, we'll probably be filming by the time the show airs. Yeah. Or in the next yeah. season. Yeah. But so. here in Bentonville, people know who you guys are. When you're in Italy, you probably don't have the same exact fan base. Is it a little different yeah. filming there with foreigners versus here where you guys are so well known? No, I mean, people, they they love the show in Italy, actually, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. But they're very super nice and, like, they I don't know how to describe it. They're just like, oh, I like your show, and then move on. Like, it's not, it's very, I don't know, subtle. Um, like to give the space, yes, uh, yeah, respect. especially when you're eating. Forget about, Forget about it. <laughs> it. Don't bother me when I'm eating. <laughs> manja, manja. Manja, manja. Jenny's like, people know me over there. No, they, they, but they're so <laughs> nice. Just, they do. But especially yeah, they, American they, they tourists, they were like, what are you doing here? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so that was always fun. Yeah. We're like, oh. We're, so neat. Yeah, yeah. But and then so and then what all so you have the Mars Mercantile also yes but all of you guys we what, a, what's going on out there oh gosh new? we um, well we have a new line of Italy things that we brought back um, so we have friends who are artisans over there who we've worked with to have a line at the Mercantile so we have products there we brought in from Italy from our friends including the homeowners that we did their house mm-hmm. Rebecca and Pierre. Yeah. They make their own olive oil, so we sell oh, their wow. olive oil at the Mercantile. So oh, well, yeah. yeah, so that's really fun and cool. And then, I mean, every season we switch up offerings, but pretty much um, working with the same artisans here locally and in the states. But then they're all it's everything's handmade for the most part, or we have vintage items. So every every time you go in, there's new products always. Um, because it's always just whatever's you can even available. Get the flags then. there, right? Because yes, you can get our flags. Put a flag yes, up allegiance. On every house and yes, a specialty flag is available. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, which is really neat. So those flags are made in Charleston by Allegiance Flag Supply, and they are they Shout hire. Out to them. Yeah. Shout out. Shout out. Yeah. We've worked with them for years, and they hire <clears throat> veterans that, and they're all handmade flags. They're Very awesome. nice. Yeah, we use them every house. Yeah. And then so, but people can order everything that you have or there's a special stuff that you can only buy at the mercantile well we have online. a lot of like vintage things that's like one of them so it's kind okay. of hard to list we haven't we don't really have the capability of listing everything mm-hmm. so not everything's online so you have to go into the store to yeah. find that's a good reason to get people to come to yeah. our town and yes, see exactly. everything we have yeah, yeah. Rent exactly one of uh, matt's airbnbs or 
Yes, the welcome in. The welcome in. Yes, we have the welcome another, in. Another that was another great show. Yeah. yeah. Yes, that was Charlene, the tree truck. <laughs> oh yeah. Huh? She She's made a it. Classic. She made it. She was awesome. <laughs> but yeah, the welcome in is doing great. We're starting to do more weddings and events there as well. So how, that, how that long yard. is the wait to get into the welcome in? Is it uh, not, is not it, bad? No, I mean it just depends on the season. Okay. But yeah, which is through Airbnb through our website too. But we have um, we've had a lot of like. Families come for like family reunions. We have a lot of girls trips. I actually stayed there for the first time in two years that we've had it open mm -hmm. um, with friends of mine who came to town. I'm like, I'm actually going to stay at the Welcome Inn because <laughs> we've never stayed there. And it was amazing. It was amazing. Did you have I a hard time it. getting a reservation? I did. I did. Yeah. I had to I had to pull some strings. Um, Dave's like, I need a yeah. I need a check before you guys. Get yeah, it. I actually forgot. I'm to pay. I actually did forget to pay. I was like, oh shoot, I was going to pay for the. Oh shoot. So they have that a. Me up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they uh, have you seen but it? Mallory, or been there? I've not Mallory been inside for us. It's Mallory, she did. Yes. Really nice. His daughter, his um, she's a sophomore now. She made yeah, she's for the a girls, junior. junior, junior. Yeah. Oh gosh, she made uh, charcuterie. So we had a night where we just stayed in. It was really cold. It was in January. It was one of those yeah. really cold weekends. And so she made us this incredible spread of food mm -hmm. and snacks and desserts. You know, my favorite part down there is like. The basement. That, that basement. I know. Yeah. We ate down there. Yeah. I know. I love yeah. it. You need to check it out. It's yes. cool. it's, I know. And the yard, like the yard for what? Yeah. You, that's yeah. the. It's maybe a great spot. the show on the road. And oh, there you go. Yeah. Broadcast, Broadcast from there. From there one. That would be nice. Afternoon downstairs. That'd the downstairs nice. is so fun. Yeah. I know. I love it. Yeah. I love it. We may never leave. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's a bad. What I think yeah. is cool about where you guys are, I mean, you guys are doing so many cool things, but when I got here <clears> 12 years ago yeah. and people would visit, it was all about going to the Walton Five and Dime. Yes. And then it was Crystal Bridges and now yes. people are coming in and they want to get golf cart tours yeah. to their how homes and to the yeah. welcome in. And it's like, that is, that's, that's cool. just, it's very cool. It's, it's yeah. just, it's expanding the reach of the community so much because yeah. of what you guys are doing. Yeah, it's awesome. I know people are, I mean, so many people come here and visit. You have people driving by your house all, all the time. time. <laughs> They're like a oh, fish tank Jenny, on. Don't pump him up anymore. <laughs> we have to hear all about in. what he does yeah. for people. Oh, Ange, Ange is like, why don't you go out there and talk to them? Hey! <laughs> that sounds about right. And Rob's opening the door. Come on in. You want a drink? That's what it's telling you to do. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> Got a bottle of wine. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. anyone that wants to go to Rob's, just go on over. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. If you're watching, if you're watching. Should we have the address up on the <laughs> yeah. screen? Yeah. Yeah. We, we'll have a link to his house at yeah. the end of the a little session here. I think you would actually like that. I'm sure people would. Yeah. But if you know me, you know I would actually wouldn't mind it. I no, know. you but, wouldn't. No. 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 Yeah. Uh, what else? No, we have the Berry Fest coming up again Ooh, in June. Yeah. We're planning that. We're in full. <laughs> How do you guys do all I know. This? It's nuts. We're actually doing this. So it'll be the 22nd of June. And then we'll just do one day this year. But we're going to have a sponsored dinner based on what we did last summer. We went to... Um, these wineries in Italy and they set up, you know, like you see in the movies, it literally felt like we're in a movie. They have these long tables in the middle of the vineyard and lights and they're just, there's music and there's like a guy playing a guitar and people are just passing food and kids are running around. It was so fun. So we're going to do a vineyard dinner for sponsors of the Berry Fest, kind of keep it small um, a couple days before Berry Fest. Yeah. Dave's recently planted Grapes. grapes. So yes, exactly. So we'll do it within the grapes, I think, if they're oh, cool. looking pretty. I think so. I know. I think it'd be fun. So, so yeah. Yeah, so, you know, I think I know. So if you'd like to sponsor yeah. Berry Fest, uh, let me know. Ooh, the, B I mean, team. the B team. The B there you team. Go. There you go. Sponsor. Yeah. We'll film the podcast live. We could from <gasps> there Berry you Fest. Go. Yeah, there you yeah. go. From Berry Fest. Yeah. We yeah. could probably, you know, we could probably MC it or something for a free oh, a free sponsorship. Okay, yeah. <laughs> 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 He's going to be like, Jenny, what happened what in there? Oh, no. I gave away the keys of the candy Fear store. some more wine. Fear <laughs> some more wine. Quick, what can we get? Rob's hosting the pre-party at his house. Uh, yeah, you that's how you give yeah, 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 exactly. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to have that backyard ready to go. I mean, it'd just be another... Tuesday night. <clears throat> yeah, at exactly. the Nelsons. <laughs> no joke. Yeah, that's true. It's literally. So, so I just don't. I don't. I still don't understand how you and Dave do what you do with five kiddos, oh, yeah. and you still have time to spend with your five kids. Yeah, somehow yeah. it's yes. nuts. Which is why Dave's home right now. Yeah, we try to yeah take turns. I know, and he's like no, because we're, I think you guys have just lot. been gone. So we have. You, you guys have. Yeah. 
this is a busy season it for is, you guys. And it's been then, so busy. It's like whenever we're not filming, all the other stuff gets piled up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then the kids are busy. Like as I was leaving, I'm like, Dave, don't forget to pick the boys up at track, <laughs> you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which hopefully you remembered. <laughs> um, but yeah, as, as they get older too, yeah, they're in sports. Mm -hmm. Like their schedules are a full-time job to keep up with for sure. But we have an amazing sitter, Cassidy. She, she's she been with us now for four years because since Luke was a baby. Yeah. And I don't know, she's married and I keep telling her like, don't have kids. Don't have kids. You gotta wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta wait because, a few more years. Yeah, get my kids. I need a few more years. <laughs> but Luke, Luke is like he's gotten now to where he's, he's pretty. Easy. It's pretty easy. He's oh, fun. Yeah. He's four and a half. He'll be kindergarten next year. I know. Jenny's gonna start crying here. And then I am. Don't get me started. I know because I can't. That's I'll be how. Uh, but I think those are my favorite posts when you do on Instagram <clears throat> about your kids. Yeah. It's like you know I know you want to keep them private to some yes, degree, of course. Yeah. But like when you, the things that you're doing as a mom. Yeah. And how proud you are, and Dave does the same thing. It, yeah. It's like. It, yeah. It's just so neat. No, oh, thanks. Yeah, big kids now don't really want to be in the photos as everyone, you know, they're teenagers. Yeah, so, yeah. and even on the show, they don't, Ben still likes to come mm -hmm. out to the barn when we're filming and help Dave, but uh, Nate. Nate and Sylvie are want nothing to do with cameras at all, um, which is fine. Like, we don't ever make them, you know, and Charlotte doesn't care and Luke's just four. So he just wants to be whatever, wherever I, we are. I love Charlotte's cowboy boots. Oh, she wears them every day. She does. She does. Every, every day. day. She has a horse. She yep, has, yeah. broke down. Yeah. She does. I don't know how you guys got that oh, passed with Dave. I know. And she's doing great. I mean, literally when I left, she was riding. Um, every day she comes home from school and she either goes out, she reads the horse stories every day, oh. <laughs> or she rides either one. She's but, like, go, go read her? Yes, go read her. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's great. <laughs> Yeah. So what's it's, the horse's it's, name again? Sadie. Sadie. Yes. Yeah. Sadie. Yeah. Sharon Sadie. Yes. Yeah. The other so. thing that I, I like, um, and I've gotten to know you in the last few years, yeah. the last couple of years, you and Dave, and obviously you guys are family, they know you before the show. But when I travel a lot for work and I yeah. say, oh, I'm from Benville, like, oh, do you know Dave and Jenny Marsh? Uh. Well, actually, I do. I've gotten to know them. Are they as really nice and kind <laughs> and amazing in person as they are on the show? And I go, yes. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, when you hear famous people and they're, you hear all these horror stories about how they are on set and off set. Yeah. And then people ask about you guys and you're just so amazingly kind and good hearted and it's nice. real. It's not for what you do on the show. And people like, <laughs> they seem so real. Like, they are. It's really cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, it's weird because we're not really, we're just doing our job. Like it really is. I think it's because we're just here. I mean, you guys know, yeah. you guys are filming with us. Like it is just work. Like it's not. I mean, I, I guess, I don't know. We're not like going on set and like having this big crew. Well, and you guys are actually it's doing just, the stuff. Yeah. 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 And we've had the same crew with us for so long. So they're like family. I mean, mm -hmm. you guys, they, they literally are yeah, like 100%. family. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So it, it makes it easy to do our job and be... Like it's more real it's, in front yeah. of the camera. Not it's more nervous. Rob and I that are the people that are hard to deal with. Really? <laughs> I know. Sure. Sure. Deep Jeannie, Jeannie, I know. Jeannie will be Deep like, oh, Rob, <laughs> are you doing okay? Okay, I wanted to talk about this. <laughs> Be believe me. What, quit yelling. <laughs> what, 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 what kind of mood is Rob in today? <laughs> uh, that's true. I, I have to bring him just blue M&Ms only. <laughs> Goodness, one time I accidentally mixed in a brown M&M. You would have thought, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Evian water. In his trailer. Fiji, Fiji. Oh, Fiji. You know Fiji, Matt's Evian. That's the yeah. thing. I get, yeah. it gets, it's hard to keep up with their list. We're joking. I'm not kidding. kidding. But are we? No. I don't but are we? I mean, uh, we like, had the opportunity. <laughs> I mean, here at the studio, we've got yeah. uh, Ozark's proud, proud, finest water. Well, oh, we had Fiji water level. at Blakeman's. My Ozark, daughter, who's 12, so goes, that's rich people water. Mm. Wait, well, no. She goes, then she saw it at, at Sam's Club. She goes, the rich people water is there. <laughs> the rich <laughs> people the water. Rich people feed water. Well, we were at the Builder Show in Las Vegas, and yeah. in our hotel room, I, we flew in. We'd been flying all day. You know, it was a whole mess with our flight. Every got, year, that's it's it. It's a mess. Last year was the a same mess. thing. Yes, Jenny. a mess. A <laughs> I mess. Fly with you. I know. I know. <laughs> always, <laughs> it's always a disaster. Tell the viewers about yeah, flying with Jenny. No, <laughs> well, no, I mean it's, it, it's nothing to do with no, Jenny. She just has luck. bad, bad luck. luck. <clears throat> yeah. Because it's literally the flight is delayed. Nothing bad or horrible. But yeah. It's the flight is delayed, or they missed their connection, or, or, or the weather. The wing was or, broken or, on this this case. The, the wing, wing was broken. Was broken. Yeah. Wing I was like, well, I don't really want to be on this plane. That's weird. It's but we got there and 
I was so thirsty, and I'm like, I don't even care. I took the water out, and of course, it's PG, and it was this tiny. $12. It was like it was it was fourteen dollars, and it was not even. It was like six ounces. Dave yeah. was so mad, but it gets worse. They had these little packets. I didn't know. Did you guys? Dave knew. Maybe it's a thing mm-hmm. that if you. I guess I don't stay at hotels very much, but when you pick up something, it. Then you pay for it if you take it off for a certain amount of seconds. Did you know this? Is this the normal yeah. common knowledge? Mm-hmm. Well, they had, I was laughing. I'm like, oh, this is so Vegas. They had these packets, you know, snacks. Mm-hmm. But then there was one that was a recovery kit. And so I picked it. I'm like, oh, my gosh, Dave, look at this. There's, it was like a hydration mm-hmm. packet, Advil, you know, basically hungover or whatever. Right. And I was like, oh, this is hilarious. This is so Vegas. He's like, put it down. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, why? And I put it down. And we got charged $45 for that. Because I, and I, so I, I, yeah. You know, I hope I you used it. it at some point. No, I disputed it. I was like, I didn't use it, I oh. promise. But there was also another kit that was much more inappropriate that I'm very glad I didn't pick up. <laughs> and she said, she goes, well, most people get charged for the other one. I was like, oh, I'm so glad I didn't pick it up. I saw it. TMZ, TMZ. <laughs> yeah. What's going on at the Mars house? Exactly. <laughs> I had a friend do that. We were at the, the Hard Rock, and they have the drumsticks from, like, popular people oh, in, yes. the, in the nice rooms oh no so like i went in his room he's like they upgraded me and he's sitting there like hitting the drumsticks <laughs> walking around and he had to pay like 150 bucks for these fair drums oh, because well he he thought they were complimentary for getting the <laughs> room <laughs> that sounds like i would do <laughs> uh, yeah so but, but yeah that's anyway, so, so, so you guys one. the how was the builder show good it was good yeah there's i mean it's humongous it's like I, uh, I, I don't even know. Football field. Yeah, it's huge. So there's the builder's and show. parts that bring you around from every little section. Yeah, it's amazing. And then there's the kitchen and bath show, which is my favorite part because mm-hmm. it's more of the pretty stuff. But Dave likes the builder's show. Um, it's, but it's neat to see. I mean, these booths are like insane, so aspirational and spend millions of dollars. But it's cool to see the trends and products that are coming and get mm-hmm. ideas. So it was it was good. It was tiring, though. Yeah, it was Jenny probably got all the questions. What should I do in this space? Or do you ever yeah. you get people that ask that kind of stuff? Not there, but yeah, some. I was yeah, gonna say yeah. that's that could be another gig if you have another exactly. twenty minutes free in a day. Do you, you get stopped all too, the time, Jenny? <laughs> Jenny no. I'm redoing my basement, <clears throat> and do you get asked questions um, like that? Sometimes, you know, like if we're, it happens for me on the plane a lot. Like we're sitting on the plane and the flight attendants will ask us and show, I guess, because we're trapped there. We have nowhere to go. <laughs> so, They're like, she can't run. <laughs> Why was she in the bathroom for the two and a half hour flight? Exactly. I'll tell you what. Like showing us pictures. Now, she yeah. talk. Yeah. More like, Jenny, I'll get smart and act like she's sleeping. Yeah, the put my headphones in. No, no, I don't mind. I don't mind that. It's hard, though, to give, because it's like. People will say, like, oh, what should I do in this space? And you're like, well, I don't, I have to see it. I have to know how you use it. Like, there's so many, no, so many contributing factors. Yeah. Then just to say, oh, here, go do this. Cause there's not, that's kind of what the book's about. It's not like a one size fits all. It should be, your house should be a reflection of you. And you really have to be in the space, talk, you know, get to know the person mm-hmm. to be able to give them advice. I think. If you guys would have read it, then you would know that. Yeah, exactly. My, my copy's here. Mm-hmm. My unsigned <laughs> copies. I didn't get it from the mercantile. <laughs> I didn't get past the one page where she's talking about me. Yeah. I've read that like a hundred times. But <laughs> Speaking about it, I have to ask a question. Okay. Like, you were very emotional the other day when Joe retired, correct? Right? Yes. Right? If Matt was to leave the show, uh-huh. would there be similar tears, Is less tears like of yeah. joy? Yeah. No, no, it's it's just, hypothetical. Would, I mean, because I said that It would Matt. be tears of joy. <laughs> yeah. She'd be like, Matt. Matt. Oh, I'm, I'm so sad. I, I don't. I'm not really sad. Maybe I'm happy. What, what is am Tim, I? Is Tim staying in this scenario? Or not? <laughs> yeah. Do we get to keep Tim? Can Tim stay and you leave? Okay, it's fine. It's fine because we have this text thread going, and I said to Matt, I go, Joe. I mean, it was emotional for you. Yes. And well, if Matt I was left, already emotional, Joe's and then, amazing. Yeah. Well, it's because Joe doesn't really do anything. He just comes and has fun, and we joke around the two of us, like. He gets he's me. Like her, he he's like her. He's your buddy the whole time. I know, time. and it's so fun because mm-hmm. everybody else is working, and Joe gives me the excuse to not have to work with them and carry stuff and do demos. So they come out and Joe, make f- more work for us. Yeah, they come exactly. up with new ideas, <laughs> and Joe, you know, he's okay. Like yeah. he 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 goes with he's anything. He's amazing. So, we but I noticed that. how Jenny didn't answer the question. If yeah, you she want to leave. Answer that. Yeah. She did. She I, said, "Is I, Tim going to stay?" <laughs> she did say that. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I would be no. J- J- Matt would isn't allowed to leave. That's the difference. Because what after in what you wrote in the book, how he is the inspiration for you. I think he yeah. wants to spin right. off and do his own thing. Right, yeah, and he fun. wants yeah. to break it to you on well, the B team yeah. podcast. Yeah. The B team I mean, podcast. Go I ahead. Mean, do you have any big news? Now? I mean, <laughs> it's time, time, we're, well, drum roll. We're, okay. What's next for Matt Mars? We're up to uh, six hundred and forty followers now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is this it? This is the next career move. Yeah, yeah, this is, yeah, this is, yeah. We're all screwed. It's like, not going like, to well. yeah. We're all three of us are full of hot air. And yeah. we were like, what's better? We can just run our mouth yeah. for 45 minutes. It's perfect. Drink I mean, bourbon. I mean, somehow we, I, I did say, I was like, now, if we're going to get Ginny in here, I'm going to I'm going to use a favor. But I said, we have to do it before a lot of the shows air so we can get her in. Yeah. Before I said, if she, if she would have been able to look at a few of them. Oh, she this. may not come. Uh, <laughs> well, we only showed her the Blake Bitch yeah. one, which I felt very good about. That was a good one. That was good. That was good. Yeah. The one with the, the bakery and Rob. Oh, and, you know, the you, you didn't that. see that one yet. Which bakery? Well, we don't want to talk specifically oh. about that on here, oh. but oh. off air we'll show you some of oh. Rob's. Yeah, uh, some we footage. New, we could talk. I it was, yeah, right? Of course, she was the new uh, butter. Uh, butter oh, shop. downtown. Yeah. It's it's did. very cool. Yeah. yeah. There was a moment that had most likely got edited out. Oh, okay. Yeah. But did you did you get to tell your story of your baking career in the past? You know, Rob worked. My family <laughs> owned a bakery. Ooh, I want to hear this. Let's Ooh, the, talk about it. Let's yeah, go here. Growing up, my fam- parents, my great, my grandpa, um, actually my great grandma started the bakery yeah. and then my grandpa ran it. Um, it was a family business. My whole family worked there, ran it. My dad ran the back room yeah. and Rob Rob spent a lot. He worked there. You were in. Years. You were. Yeah. How years. long? Did you know At this? At least hmm. three. Yeah. Four years. Yeah. I didn't. I never when knew I Rob first, worked there. Yeah, you didn't what, know that. When I first met Angie, and you know, I was trying to get through high school, and wasn't the smartest pencil, and you know, out there. Is that that's that the right saying? The smartest <laughs> pencil out there. <laughs> No, no. Well, there we no, go. No. Oh, okay. You know, Validated by that well, statement. I was, I was having a hard time getting through, you know, school. Yeah. You know, so. It's Steve. hard to tell. I can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He wasn't the smartest pencil I right there. I was uh, the uh, pencil. He, you, see that he, you see he doesn't have a book. I did either. notice I that. Mean, yeah. But I that's did. a new shirt for us. The smartest pencil with Ron's shirt. <laughs> yeah. All right. I so, mean, I didn't know pencils were smart. Yeah. So you know now. A- a- Angie and Jenny's dad, Steve, mm-hmm. said, look, if you're going to date my daughter, you need to get your shit together. And I can say shit. And oh, wow. Okay. I mean, you just <laughs> said it just twice. Did it twice. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he looked at you and was like, don't even try me. I can say it. Did you notice that, that, I can yeah, The and, angry and, Italian came out did. a little bit. Wow. And, and, and he was like, you should come work here <clears throat> at the bakery. Mm-hmm. And it was it was a great experience. And we had tons of laughs. And actually, I met a great friend of mine, which is kind of connected. Alex. Yeah. Yes. I actually yeah. talked to him today. Oh, no he way. Called me. He yeah. Was like, Man, I want to be. Because he was working yeah. there, too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that's awesome. Yeah, so that no, was great. We, we threw pies yeah. at each other. And that was the big thing at the bakery, right? If it was your birthday, everyone would try to you. get you yeah. pie in the face. Yeah. So you did funny. tell me that story. Yeah. He yeah. he said that it was like you had to you had to have a whole plan to be able to get uh, certain yeah. like Alex. Uh, Alex he, was it I, you got him good or he got you good? That you were telling me a story about. Yeah, I got him good re- really, really good one time coming around because they had these massive freezers. Yes. I actually hid in the freezer <laughs> and he came in with these big rolls. I remember then, that. I remember I, the pictures of him. that. Yeah. And I got him. Yeah. yeah. But then there was also a time too where like the floors were in like a hundred percent level because we'd have drains in the floors yeah. and I would massive racks of pies. And it was just before Thanksgiving and yeah, it was so busy. Thousands, thousands and thousands of pies and I had this double rack and I'm trying to get it across right out of the oven that caught that drain and I dumped probably oh, three gosh. or four hundred pies. Oh. The place just went silent. And that was the end of your experience. Though. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I think it was the beginning. It was the beginning. That was, that yeah. was when uh, he told him he wasn't the sharpest pencil. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was the smartest pencil. Not the smartest Martin, pencil. The sharpest, sharpest pencil oh, in the world. Right. Not a 
actually would have worked. Sorry, I fixed he's not, it for He's him. not the smartest bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yes. I mean, we've been drinking bourbon here for like 45 minutes. So. I mean, yeah, we sell that shirt at the Mercantile, the smartest, the smartest pencil. pencil. Yeah, the smartest yeah, I, pencil. I don't know. Somebody I mean, will buy it. Somebody, somebody I'll buy it. <laughs> yeah, okay, perfect. Yes. That'll give two fifty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you have any good yeah, match stories nice. for us too? Oh, there's got to be something. I mean, she already told me the, the dog but that I didn't want. Yeah. But there's, I mean, there's got to be a baking type story here because this is one of the hidden gems of the show. We bring people in that can give us some good gossip. Or maybe a Davy story. That would be oh. more fun. Yeah, but Dave's not. No, he's not okay. here. It's not fun to talk about him. Don't try, to, don't try to yeah. shift all it away know, from you. I, I wasn't there, <laughs> but I always hear about Matt speaking of horses. I've seen the photos. Oh, oh. I, hey, I used to show horses back in the day. <laughs> I'm glad that's where that story just went. I showed, I showed four. They, I was in a horse show. I wish we had a photo. There was four. Good. Yeah, the photo is good. It's good. He's like. There was four, <laughs> there was four horses in the show, and I got fourth place. <laughs> That was, Nowhere be- to go, but <laughs> that was the beginning and ending in my <laughs> cowboy career. All right, so, so, so Jenny, you're going to yeah. have to see if you can find us the photo. Oh, Carrie we'll, for sure has it, yes. Oh, yeah. and we'll she has that in yes. for the viewers. For sure. Because they, yes. they're going to want to see I have a yeah. nice cowboy hat on, too. It's, oh, my gosh. You're I had my husky jeans on. Yeah. Make, make a note of that. Mm-hmm. That was back, yeah. What was your horse's mental name? Mental posted mental. My horse was Snoopy. Snoopy, that's right. Snoopy was Snoopy was Snoopy was barn sour. Yeah. So if what people that, that don't know what that is, is when you get a half a mile, we lived in the country, so we'd ride to our friends' oh, yeah, houses. Oh, yeah, want to go back. You get a half a mile away, and it's, she'd start bucking, and she'd buck you off, and then you had to walk back. She'd be waiting at the barn for you. Because she just wanted to go home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sounds like a well-trained horse. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. she was. She what wasn't the smartest pencil story? of the horses either. No. Guess. No. no. <laughs> smartest, sharpest. Ah, <laughs> tomato, <laughs> tomato. <laughs> Uh, Forget uh, about it. Forget uh, about it. Hey, manja, manja. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I feel I'm excited like, about the second book, too. That's, yeah. a, that's a huge deal. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, uh, I mean that's, you should be really proud of that. That's, yes. How far are you in the book? Um, well, I've, uh, I don't I'm know. You know. I know it's very stressful. <laughs> I think I have about 12 chapters drafted, and then I'm trying to get through the full manuscript by the end of next month. Oh my gosh. And then I have a lot of edits to do. So just got a new editor. So it's good. She's good. Yeah, oh, I'm actually editing all of her stuff. Yeah. yeah it's, it's I thought nice you were a ghostwriter. Yeah. <laughs> well, so much for that book. Yeah. yeah. It, was a, it, was a, already. it was a nice career, Jenny. Yeah. But it's over. Or any chance of a third. Ever. <laughs> Can he write the, the foreword? Can he give, no. be involved in so much oh, like maybe sure. start, She didn't even think about it. She's, right? no. 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 I mean, sure. Did you see her facial <laughs> reaction? Yeah. Joe's got a better shot to yeah. write it than you. Oh, oh, Joe, Joe probably has his own chapter. Uh, I hope he, he does. Should. He should. He needs to have something. He needs to have, yeah. Actually, Joe called me yesterday because he was at, where was he? He went to the grocery store. I don't know. He's buying mm-hmm. beer. And he was, yeah, yeah. The, uh, I mean, the gas station, maybe? Do they sell mm-hmm. beer at the gas station? Yeah, he's usually at the get and go there. That's right where he was. He said he was buying <laughs> yeah. beer. And he goes, you wouldn't even recognize me. My be- I grew my beard out. And I was like, oh, okay. It's a new phase, Joe. And he's like, but this guy recognized me. And he said he had um, loved the show. And his daughter likes the show. And his daughter was there. And she's in a wheelchair. And he didn't, he, you know, he didn't know. He's I, some special needs of course and then he was like so jenny i think we're gonna if you you and dave will come meet me let's go surprise her and we can all three show up and surprise her and so we're gonna go on friday to go surprise her yeah i was like of course joe let's go so he was he was really excited which is fun because joe doesn't really like people Mm -hmm. so (laughs) i was like joe you want to like go to see someone he's like yeah i do and he's he's such a big heart such a big heart and kids and animals yeah he will do anything so you know yeah he doesn't ask for much but yeah, I was but like, that's Absolutely. also again going back to who you guys are in your super busy time to yeah. make time like yeah. three days from now to go yes. do that. That's super yeah. cool. Yeah, we're actually out of town that day, so we're gonna come home early and go meet him. It'll be good. That's amazing. But yeah, it'll be fun. That's amazing. So you guys want to come? You surprise him with all of us. Yeah, we'll go. <laughs> we'll, we'll film you. the B team podcast oh, yeah. from there. Actually, Jenny's doing a lot of oh, charity yeah, events lately. She's uh, at the B team. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, she's like uh, do you guys have a form? Do you guys have a, like a form or anything? I don't want to fill out. Like, what, what is it? It's gonna show up on like, account. Yeah. Like, what kind of write off? Like, where do I get what write off? Do I get yeah. for being on the show? The gas? I get to, I get to claim that the gas money it took to get out. <laughs> it's like a you pity guys, party. You guys are fancy though. You have your, you have a studio. Like, this is yeah. and microphone. Yeah. 
cons. We're no joke. If we would have brought you in the first day, you would have been like, we're not, like, we're done. Yeah. Like, I, we've classed it up quite I a bit. The old yeah, studio, yeah. though. We've classed it's like it up. The OG. The old Gosh, studio. How long have you guys been yeah. doing this? Oh, uh, this is our 12th. Yeah, it's wow. 12th episode. 11th or 12th. You know. Wow. You guys have been, yeah. yeah. yeah it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about you it. You did hear Rob's our permanent guest, right? Like, he, yeah. we're still trying oh. to figure out if he's going to make it long term. Oh, <clears> really? Because we have a host and a co host, but you uh-huh. can't have a tri host. Right. No, so you got to figure out, like, so what Rob, his role is. This is like an audition. It's okay. every, every yeah. show is an audition. Yeah. 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 How's he doing? That, well, the viewers love me. They've bought me before. <laughs> so we, me. we think he's buying his Real viewers. modest. I'm positive. We, we, no. Well, we know Haley he bought. At the, the lady uh, at the gents, gents place that cuts his hair? Yeah. Haley. It was <laughs> unsolicited. Hey, hold on. He's unsolicited. a very generous tipper. He's got a lot of great yeah. qualities. He's a generous yeah. tipper. Yeah, he is. A, All yeah. of a sudden, after his haircut, the next day, this review goes up from Haley that goes, mm. Rob could never leave. He is a permanent fixture. I'm thinking, what a generous tip he Does must have given. Does that not sound like a Rob Nelson move? I'll yeah. give you an extra 20 yes. if you make sure you put something yes. nice in a review. Yes. I will tell you, yes. I never even told her I was doing a podcast. Oh, that's not true. You that's just, sw- how did she find it? Because I'm sure you told all your. Well, I actually require. But she re- knew you. Yeah. But why'd she, wouldn't she, your employee, she, when knew. she said something nice about you? No. No, 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 like our podcast just on a roll, just a reel that just keeps playing on the TVs. At in the, the chance, chance place. place. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> we should do that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they can't, they can't go anywhere. Yeah, they're yeah just it's kind of like when I'm on the airplane and they yeah. have to ask you yeah. the yeah. same thing. Yeah, like, they're sitting they're in the stuck. chair. No, you have yeah. to be like, free out the bathroom. We're full, taking a nap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. J- J- same be, for the chance place. Get that phone call and they'll be like, why is membership down at the we get lots of feedback. <laughs> yeah. We get lots of feedback. <laughs> Maybe so trying to we. pull its franchise. So oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, you're good. So if people wanted to find the show, what time yes. could they find the Italy show on? So it was Tuesday nights. Yes. Not, uh, so, uh, what, uh, yeah. what time? 8, 7 central. We change times. 8, 7 central. So okay. 7 here. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. then the expectation is there is another year of this. We, we love oh, it so much. Yeah. That's, yeah. Well, we're if you can share. Filming, yes. We're filming um, season six and it'll air in the fall. So everybody, it's hard because people, it's, it's kind of like, I mean, I get it because it's such a long time in between seasons, but we really do have to renovate 16 houses. <laughs> so it takes a long time. So it's hard because people are like, oh, I have to wait that long. But that yeah. is what it is. We're, we'll be here in the fall. And the mercantile, we'll the hours time. people the hours pop in. And the location? Yes, we're in Centerton <clears throat> on Main Street. And we're open every day except for Monday. And I think 10 to 6. I don't know. I yeah. can't remember. Sounds I think so. That sounds, sounds right. Good. Yeah, yeah. We're longer hours in the in Christmas, but yeah. And they can find an autographed copy of your book at the Mercantile. The Mercantile. Yes, MarsMercantile.com or come yeah. into the store. Yes, Perfect. that's that's good news. To, like I didn't know that. Yeah, because we've just told people yeah. Yeah, we're online. Yeah, you guys yeah. are like, yeah. no. get the book for Jenny and write a review. Great. Order yeah. from Amazon. Nobody tells me anything. No. So that's... I could have stopped into the store, got an yeah. autographed copy. The last <laughs> thing I want to talk okay. about with Jenny. Oh boy. Oh boy. Because I've been having to look at it for a little while. What, what do you think about that logo that Josh no. made? Whoa, 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 but time out. Oh, Hold on. No, 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 you don't get this off. Can I just Please, have yes. a yes. Yes. caveat on the logo? Yes. Okay. Okay. Hey. That's funny. That might be the best thing I've ever heard all day. <laughs> Son of a gun. I got to hear the back no? story. Here, wait. Okay. No. These guys no. have added zero value. All right. Right. Now, zero. That's obvious. Okay. So. He's not the smartest pencil. He's not the smartest pencil. What do you expect? All right. No, no. Let her speak. Hold on. No, <clears throat> and then you could defend. Okay. Let her speak. Wait, I want to know what the... Uh, okay. Thank you. You're, you're yeah. on the same wavelength. Picture now a caricature cartoon of Matt on the side of the B on a ladder as if he's building a home. Mm-hmm. And picture on the, the top of the B, Josh in a barber chair. Mm-hmm. And then there's Rob in the middle. He's dangling. They keep saying he's dangling. I don't know what dangling means, Weird. but Rob's dangling oh, in the middle. With that's because you're uh, you're on the uh, chopping block uh, all the yeah. time. He's, yeah. he's yeah. dangling. Yeah. So that's yeah. so it's not fully vetted and done uh, yet. Huh. But that's what it'll look like. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah. Now that you can feel she free. She doesn't like it. <laughs> She's, uh, Jenny. Jenny's, Jenny's like, huh, huh, interesting. So how much thought did you put into that, Josh? But I mean, V stands for bourbon, Bentonville, and business, yeah. right? So Correct. Maybe you need to incorporate that somehow. 
I don't know. Yeah, maybe a bit like the Bentonville water tower in there. Or just like, I don't know. Like a little landscape yeah. on the bottom. We'll have to give Parker some feedback. I mean, yeah. it's a feedback-rich environment, as yeah. you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> we give Josh plenty it's, of feedback. It's, it's nice everything. and strong. I do say that. So you, yeah, so, yeah, like me. Yeah, it feels, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Josh, he's so full of it. But what like do you guys, me. you don't like it? I, it's, it's work in progress. It's, it's solid, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 it's slightly better than average, like the B team. Right, yeah. right, but, exactly. Yeah. Maybe that could be. Yeah, I mean, what what did I expect? It's we're the B team. Yeah, it's kind of like mean, when Dave we, we hired. Did you ever hire part time plumbers? Yes. Back in the day, yes. Dave's oh, yes. like, I don't know why. What I thought I'd get, I got uh, a part time I mean, plumber. I mean, that's what we. <laughs> you maybe got him to answer the phone every. Yeah, exactly. So it's kind of like the B team. I mean, I like the shadows. Thank you. Try to find some positives. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even seen the shadow. Like, you know, it's like uh, a box yeah. leather. Yeah, it's kind of like an 80s throwback. Yeah, it is bit. a little 80s. It reminds me, you know, it reminds me of it's like um, an arcade game, kind of, you know. That's that's like the vibe that, I was going for, an arcade there game. There you go. Really? No. Yeah. But, oh. it, but, but it fits. Well, Jenny, thanks for coming yes, in. Yes, thank you. After yeah. the second book is done and we have our yes. own chapter, that's yes. the only way we'll invite you yes. back because we're you. like going to yes. be big time by then. <laughs> we'll be so big time by then that we're going to have a waiting list. Well, okay, we'll, okay. we'll have someone call you to see, yeah, it. Of course. Yeah, see it. Have your people call our people. Okay, perfect, perfect. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll have people by then. <laughs> and Same. Let, unless the viewers speak. Oh, gosh. The viewers. <laughs> where are the viewers speaking, though? Like, where we are don't, they? We don't know. He just brings it up all the time. Like, on, like, on, on, the, like, on the live? Yeah. The, on the live. <laughs> on the live. In the comments. Oh, in the comments. <laughs> oh, okay. Haley was very kind to yeah. us. Okay. We talked about yeah. Haley. Shout out to Haley. Yeah. Shout, Shout out to Haley. Haley. Shout out to Haley. Yes. That's Actually, Rob's. Haley, he didn't dial it down. People that's, there that. Well, Rob's mom and Haley, but yeah. he's got two fans. <laughs> the the people have spoken. That's those two The viewers. The viewers. The viewers. The viewers. The viewers. Or the listeners. I mean, they also yeah, listen, yeah, right? Yeah. So you got to. Yeah. I think we need a shirt. The smartest pencil. Smartest pencil. We need that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Will you carry it in the mercantile? I don't know. We'll talk about it. That will be a best <laughs> that, that mean, that We'll talk like, about it. That's a hard no. Oh, that's a hard no. <laughs> it wasn't even a. <laughs> we'll talk uh, about it. Yeah, we'll talk about it. She'll, yeah, she'll have It'll be a fast she'll conversation. Have break it to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll call you. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna run some numbers. <laughs> yeah, don't I mean, wait for that phone call. <laughs> Jenny, I mean, she would like to always make right. the decision, That's but the she problem. has a lot of people it's got to go through, yeah. and if yeah. the team doesn't like it, right. I mean, yeah. it could get cut. Yeah, could get yeah. cut though. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. Well, thank you for coming in. We could have yeah. done this for hours today. I know. So thank much you. fun. Sorry, we got distracted. <laughs> no, this was great. We had a blast. Yes. Best of luck with the book. We're waiting for the second book. Yep. Yeah, that'll be the show in Italy. Thank you. Everyone needs to come to Bentonville. Yes. yes. See Bittenville, mostly to, to see the mercantile. The mercantile. Yes. Yep. Berry Fest. Berry Fest this Berry summer. Fest. What's the date? Yes. June 22nd. June 22nd. Coming up yes, very that's quick. Great. It's Surprisingly, it is like right around the corner. So are there still sponsorships left for the... Yes. We haven't, we haven't had yeah. any. Haven't had any. Well, <laughs> well, there's plenty. You could, you could be the first. Um, well, wait, we need to talk about that. And tickets then, will go on sale in May. Or, yeah, May. So we need to get the link. We'll get the link. Yeah. yeah we'll put that on there. Yeah. 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 And the music... The people. The, the, the people. people. <laughs> the people. Hey, I'll just text uh, Haley. Yeah, I'll just text, text, text She'll Haley. She'll blast it out. <laughs> uh, On that note, Jenny. Uh, cheers. 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 <laughs>